Today's gonna be a good one. I just went and got some worms. I got a little micro rod, so we're gonna try that up. No destination, we're just kind of exploring right now. Stopped and saw this, the lakes, or the river right here is frozen where it enters the lake at. And then when it enters the lake over there, it unfreezes. Look how beautiful this is. But I definitely can't fish right there, so let's hit the road. <laughs> definitely found the spot I just need to figure out how to get down to it <sighs> all right I'm gonna figure out how to get down there there we go seems to be water coming out right there So, it's like the safest part would be to follow this water all the way down that to the water because it's the only spot that's not covered in ice. So, but look at that though, look how beautiful that is. Whew. Well, that was a hell of a journey coming from up there. We finally made it. Look at this. And we got this little creek right here. So creeks flowing in. So I'm gonna try right there. So I'm gonna drop my pull in. Drop this little biker rod and see what happens. Alrighty. Got a creep up here, got the micro rod set up. Got a little worm. Worm on there with the split shot. First cast. Okay. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Well, nothing yet, so we'll give it a little longer and then we'll go try somewhere else. It's kind of hard to find spots right now because obviously he's all the snow, so I was able to get up and down here pretty easy. So I see a few more spots down there that maybe I can get to, and so we'll try that. It is dumping snow right now. It's all right though, we're still gonna about to catch this fish. <sighs> all right, so, all right, so we're at a new spot. The weather has definitely taken a turn for the worst. It's starting to snow, but I'm gonna give it a little bit. I got my other pull in now on the bottom, and then I got this micro rod now. I'm gonna show you talk about this micro rod a little bit, and then we'll get that in there too. So. All right, here's that micro rod from Proficiency. It's a 411 gear ratio, six pound line, 40 yards of six pound line. Now this is the line that came with it. I haven't even put any of my own line in. And it stretches out to be about, I said two feet, two and a half feet. And right now I got a bobber on it with this, this split shot and a hook. I put a worm on there so I can see any action on this one. See if anything's coming after this. But yeah, it's pretty solid little travel reel. Definitely the better ones are the ones I've tried. So shout out Proficiency for this. Let's start in the water, catch a fish. It's a real test. So 
help this guy out. Something definitely just bit the macro rod. There's definitely just under just now. I think I got a fish, guys. I do, on the macro. On the macro! Oh my god, this is only four pound line, guys. Ooh, look at that fish, guys. I am so hungry, please don't come off. Come here, buddy, come here. Yes! <laughs> Woo! On the macro! We're about to go eat this guy right now. Actually, actually, you know what? I'm gonna throw this back out because there might be more. It is dumping snow right now. That's what we came here for, baby. That is what we came here for. Looks like he swallowed the hook too. Yeah. On the macro. <sighs> yes. Yes, yes. Oh, there might be something on that one too. Oh, that's a that looks like a like a natural one. Nope. Okay. Put that one down. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at that. It's literally about the same size as the pole. <laughs> Cut them right here off the shore. Like this pole. This pole's all the way out there. This pole was like right here. So I'm definitely throwing back out. We got food, baby. Well, the snow was coming down hard. It felt like a blizzard. I came down the mountains a little bit to get away from all that snow. And it was just too wet up there to start a fire. So I'm gonna get this fire going and cook up this fish because I'm starving. It's been about an hour since I caught this thing <laughs> trying to start a fire. So let's go get it. So, just went, rinsed them off. Usually I cook with the head on, but since my pan is so small, I'm just gonna cut the head off right behind the fin. You don't have to cut all the way through yet. Just work your blade down. All the way down to the anal fin. And then finish cutting through the head. And all this should come out one piece. See all the guts, head, all one piece. That's what you want. That'll be gone by tonight. You clean this with the back of your thumb, and you go rinse this off. And this is what you're left with. Now, my pen's so small, so I'm gonna cut them in half. And I'm gonna score it. What this does is prevents it from curling. All right, now let's take it to the cooking station. Fire going, got our trout right here. We're gonna season them up. I'm just using a McCormick, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. I should be generous with it. Most of it's gonna fall off, so. All right, we got your cast iron. Make sure you pre-season these before you just go to the store and buy one and use it. I use grapeseed oil, you can use any high temperature oil, but make sure you pre-season these. And then obviously we got butter. So I'm gonna let this die down a little bit and then I'm gonna throw a fish on. The fire's going, it's still snowing and I can see that it's coming from here. It's coming really quickly. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and cook this fish, eat it and get out of here. So <laughs> let's go. Just drop the butter in there, it's getting nice and hot. Let that get a little warmer and we'll drop the fish in. Let 
that cook up for a little bit. It's just about done. Looking really good. It's starting to snow pretty bad here. So hurry beneath this and get out of here. Alrighty, that one is done. I just put that one in. So I'm gonna go eat this one while that one's cooking. Ah. All right, so no fork today. <laughs> So we're just going to take these fins off, take that fin off, the bone. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, a little bit of the belly. I wish I had a fork, but I don't care. Hmm. Especially after a long day in the cold, like a hot meal like this. And that's pretty much all you're left with. <laughs> you go check on the other half. Uh, well, I hope you guys like this one. This one was definitely a tougher one out of the ones I've done. So I got to. I'm gonna eat my last piece of fish and get out of here before the storm gets anywhere, so. Well, that's it for the micro rod. I'm actually genuinely impressed with how well that thing worked and how far it could cast. So I'll definitely be putting that in my backpack and my suitcase wherever I go. So again, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to the next one.